it's very easy when we play any competition we play it we play to win it um, so if you every every round in, in any cup uh, competition is is the most important round because there, there is this uh, this is an elimination game and uh, we have to be totally focused and uh, totally on on point tomorrow when the match starts and uh, to to finish with a win this is the absolute desire we will uh, there's a high possibility we see a lot of changes why because uh, first of all uh, everybody who's on the pitch tomorrow deserves to be on the pitch so there will be guys tomorrow who suffer a little bit from my decisions in the last games because they deserve and second of all for me is now or for us is the third match uh, third away match in a row and uh, we don't want to lose attention and awareness and intensity in our game and for this is the moment to to have some fresh legs and and fresh minds on the on the pitch to play with full concentration and and at the same time full intensity to be able to secure this win and uh, this is what we what we aim for. Will Hakim Ziyech be one of those players to get a chance? I know this week he's been speaking about how difficult it's been to settle in English football. Yeah. Uh, I just wonder where does he fit into your plans, or, and, and when do you think we'll see the best of him? Hopefully tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow we see the best in him. He had a good training week. We count on Hakim like on everybody else. There is absolutely no doubts about that. He had some. Uh, now we took some decisions for other players, not against him, but for other players, and uh, he will have the chance to show tomorrow the same quality that he shows in in training, the same determination. For me, it's clear that he needs to adapt to this kind of of football, to this kind of league. He comes from 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 the Dutch league, from a strong strong Ajax squad, but they were like, they were the benchmark in the league and uh, it's not the same intensity and not the same competition like it is here but he's adapting and uh, he has the certain quality to decide matches and to the certain quality to do the unexpected which can give you a, a, an extra twist in, in, in any game and on any level he, he proved that with Ajax and uh, of course, we want to push him to the same level and to the same uh, to the to the same level of performance that he showed there. And this is uh, our job. Off the pitch, I, I know some of your players have have suffered from online abuse. I, I just wondered what you made of the, the what's happened this morning with some of the social media companies, Instagram, Facebook, pledging to do more and, and cancel accounts and things like that. Are you, are yeah. you pleased? With that as a development, for sure, 100%. And uh, I'm uh, the, the 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 abuse, uh, if it is in social media or directly, is is simply unacceptable. There is no other opinion here from the club, and and clearly from me, it's unacceptable. And uh, everything we can do, we have to do, to stop it. Last question, please, Paul. Okay, I was going to ask about Chelsea being linked to Upper Meccano and Haaland, obviously two massive players. <laughs> uh, if, if players like that become available, would you at least like to see Chelsea in the mix? Man, you have the whole range of questions in, in all four. We can finish this press conference after we go from, from FA Cup to individual players to transfer market to social media. <laughs> oh, you, 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 you took the whole range. Uh, I can understand your interest in that question and I can understand the, the, the interest of every fan and supporter to talk about these subjects. I'm, I, it is, uh, I'm also sometimes a fan and I, I, I'm always a fan and interested in what is going on. But now is February and this is a long way to go and as you know me or maybe get to know me better, I will not talk about other players uh, publicly when they are under contract and uh, this, this is the kind of respect that we show to them, but show in, uh, in first of all to our players. We think about our central defenders and our strikers first, and we push them to the limits, and everything else will be decided behind closed doors. I'm so sorry. John Southall, BBC. Hi, Thomas. Hi. Um, talking about players getting a chance tomorrow, is this yeah. a chance to start N'Golo Kante and 
how does he fit into your plans and what's, where do you see his best position? This is very easy because I think that NG and Golo fits into every manager's plans on the, on the planet. I was uh, like uh, desperate to have him in any, any in, in, in my teams. Uh, he's, a, he's a Chelsea player and uh, he's a big Chelsea player and one of the best midfielders in the world. So now I'm so lucky to have him in my squad and uh, I'm so lucky to, that he is back again. When you look at his performances, like coming after injury and, and we just put him on the pitch against Tottenham with no minutes uh, before then, uh, no, again, yeah, was it against uh, Tottenham? Uh, which was really difficult and he just uh, um, he just did uh, like what he always does he helps everybody around on the pitch to to uh, um, he helps everybody on the pitch and with his support and his mentality and his quality and if you see the step that he took between the Tottenham match okay in training you didn't see but obviously in the 30 minutes he played for us or 20 minutes against uh, Sheffield was a huge performance, huge, huge performance when we switched to a, a three in the midfield. And this was very, very important to escape the pressure and to be in control of the game again. And I'm very, very impressed. I mean, I know him since many years and uh, we, we know him very well because we come from from French club. So we were very impressed from television, but to see the guy live, to see him, how he works, how humble he is, and what quality he gives uh, to, to this team here is a, is a gift to be his coach, and I'm, I'm super happy. He will start tomorrow. For me, his best position is a double six. He can play single six, yeah, but his, his, his strength is also to have a kind of a, a freedom in his game to use that we use his volume and we use his uh, range uh, his range uh, of that that he can uh, that he can use in his game so if he plays a single six like in a 4141 you have to be more disciplined you have to a little bit more disciplined in your position he can do this but i think we took, we would cut his wings a little bit so double six is is the best position he could even play on a, in a three midfield like he did in sheffield uh, if we if we keep the structure like we had in the last games, I think we do him. It, it suits him very well because it's, it's clear what we want from him, and the distances are close to use his strengths in counter pressing and in recoveries of the ball. It's, it's, uh, like I said, it's an outstanding player that we absolutely need in a in a in, in a in a strong squad and in a big club like Chelsea. It's, it's mm. top to have him. One more, please, John. Absolutely, I'm and how have you found English football? It's been pretty hectic, hasn't it, since you since you arrived here? Has it been what you expected? The game? Has there been any surprises at all? Well, obviously we followed we followed uh, the Premier League very very closely, and we had some matches in in uh, Champions League and international football against your your top teams here on in England. So it was not a surprise, but uh, when in the end, when you feel it and you experience at the sideline every three days, there is it's 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 again different because it's again like uh, yeah it is <laughs> yeah suddenly you you experience what you expect and and it is big big intensity big intensity also in coaching in the in the dugout next to me big intensity in coaching big intensity big uh, physical input uh, very very disciplined in in defending uh, very disciplined teams in in their structure and in their beliefs of their approaches so also a lot of confidence in the approach that the teams show also against the big teams everybody is trying to fight hard for a win Nobody is settling in for like a, a good a good draw or a, a, a maybe a, a, a close uh, defeat and is happy with it. No, we don't experience this. And I have the feeling that this is uh, all about football is, and this is all about what we love about this game. You find it in this league, and this is why we are very excited, very happy, and it uh, hopefully brings out the best in us. James talks for. Thomas, you've won the cup in Germany and in France as a manager. Yeah. What would it mean to you to win the FA Cup? This would be huge. <laughs> this would be huge, absolutely. I mean, the FA Cup is one of the most prestigious cup in the world. 
is played in Wembley and uh, yeah even if you're a little boy in Germany with uh, with no internet at these times and no and uh, and no uh, sports channels where you can watch every game like like nowadays you know the words uh, Wembley <laughs> for for sure and and the words FA Cup you notice that it is a big uh, this is a big big game uh, to play and a big big goal to achieve but uh, you know me now very well, or maybe better and better. And, and the approach is tomorrow is the most important game of this of this cup campaign because tomorrow is a decisive match and is an elimination match. And we know all very well uh, that uh, we can expect everything in in a game of football. So um, we have to go step by step. But uh, for sure, we do everything uh, to prepare this game to win it and to go one one round ahead. I've spoken to Valerian Ishmael, who you know well. You managed the game against him when you were in Germany. And he said he's already seen some of the patterns that you had at Dortmund and at PSG already here at Chelsea. How pleased are you with the way the players are buying into your methods? I'm very pleased with the quality I see and with the mentality I see and with the uh, <clears throat> team performances because it, it is always a team effort and we I'm, I'm in here now for some days we see the quality of of the players and the fame is always for the players of course we need we want to guide them and of course we want to help them and we want to yeah help and guide them but but it is the quality in the end and it is the determination and it is the, the mentality to stick to a game plan and to 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 help each other out and to attack together and to defend together this is what we see and and in in terms of all these segments i see a lot of quality and i'm very very happy with uh, the the attitude the mentality and the energy we show on the pitch and uh, we it is it is a good start and uh, if we can manage to show some patterns it will help us to increase the 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 amount of attacks it will help us to to play faster because everybody everybody uh, gets used to it so it will help us to to keep the game easy fast and to to bring uh, to bring the intensity but uh, you know how it is played is the most important and the how is how the players play it is is, is their credit and um, this is a, a very high level right right here that we find here in the dressing room and on the pitch and this is a, a this is now on us to to uh, to keep to keep this uh, momentum going last two in this section jerry cox and nick pure water finish jerry Good afternoon, Thomas. Hi. Um, how's uh, Thiago Silva? Because he looked quite bad last week when he was injured at Tottenham. No, yeah, he's uh, Thiago. Mm -hmm. He's out. He feels now better and better. He gets uh, a lot of treatment, and uh, I know Thiago obviously very very well from the last years. Um, we can all be absolutely sure that Thiago is uh, spending every minute available to to uh, speed up the process of healing. But it takes its time. It's a muscle injury. We cannot force. We cannot. You cannot pull the grass to 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 make it grow faster. It's, it's like this with muscle injury, with muscle injury. So he is out for 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 tomorrow for sure. Last question, Nick Pure. Hi Thomas. Just on Ngolo, he's obviously a lot of um, a number of hamstring injuries um, in recent times. Uh, and some people, I think unfairly, because they haven't maybe taken those injuries into account, suggested that he couldn't, he might not be able to get back to the high energy intensity yeah. uh, performances he's had in the past. Can you just talk about the fact that, you know, if there's anything you will do to try and, you know, stem those injuries, but also um, I'm assuming that you're not concerned about his ability to get. I'm absolutely not concerned about any more injuries because uh, I feel a, a support and quality of uh, medical physical department workload on the highest level so I'm absolutely not a not concerned and we can manage his uh, his minutes and his workload and we take care about him in, in all physical uh, aspects what he needs and second of all, uh, second, I'm absolutely not concerned about his, his quality. What I see on the pitch during the games, but what I see here on the pitch in Cobham is, is uh, well, how can I put it? Is, 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 
is everything what I expected, but I expected a lot. I can tell you I expected a lot because I'm a huge fan of him. Uh, and I can see the input he has on teams. He makes teams better. He makes guys around him feel comfortable. He has the, 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 the mentality of a, I don't know, of a water carrier, but on such a high level. And what I see here in, in possession games, what I see here in, in acceleration, what I see here in, in passing ability is, is uh, absolutely outstanding. Combined in, a, in, a, in such a humble personality, I am absolutely not concerned. Okay.